what, when did I first hear about the Odyssey Theater and why do I like working there? Well, you know, the first play um, I ever did after graduating the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1976 was a play at the Odyssey Theater. I think it was 1977. And it was when they uh, originally over on Ohio Avenue on the west side of LA, um, off Santa Monica Boulevard. And it was Wojcik. And uh, I, I can't remember, I was wrapped in a turban. I played like a fortune teller or a carnival barker of sorts. It was with Franklin Seals, who was a wonderful actor. Ron Saucy directed it. And wow, I thought, wow, okay, I, I've made it. I, I'm, you know, doing a legit, legit, whatever that means, theater here, you know, after my, 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 my work, um, schooling days. But anyways, that was how I came to know the Odyssey Theater. You know, they, they, they're 50, um, I think they just celebrated their 53rd um, anniversary. I mean, that's incredible that they could still go on it. I, and, and I do, during our show here at the Odyssey, I do take a moment to, you know, to celebrate their longevity, keeping this theater alive. You know, it's alive. It's still alive, for Christ's sake. And um, what, what keeps me coming back? Well, you know, I love how they encourage me to keep going. I, there's this part of me, you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to be 71. I know I look fabulous for 71, but there's this part of me that goes, oh, you know what? Time to retreat, you know, let the youngins take over. You know, who cares about a, you know, an old, you know, cis, uh, cisgender white guy, you know? But, uh, but you know, um, they... <laughs> Beth Hogan, God bless her, has encouraged me to, to keep doing this. And I got to say, hey, I still have something to say. And I still have an audience who, who wants to hear what I say. So uh, so I'm really grateful to them for, uh, you know, keeping the flame burning. What would I tell other performance artists, actors uh, to get involved with the Odyssey Theater? Because it's a beautiful space. Oh, my God. They got three theaters there that's you know it's great and then and an audience comes and and you get to practice your stagecraft you know it's not i mean la you know it's a joke you know it's all about tv film but there's a lot of theater actors here there's a lot of people here from around the country who uh, who grew up with theater who love theater so it's it's a place that you know it's one of the oldest theaters here in LA that and it's still living and it's still encouraging new work and experimental work you know I, I've always felt that about the Odyssey they're, they're not interested in you know you know butterflies are free or you know but but um they're, they're looking for new cutting-edge work so if, if you feel like you want to go that direction this is the place to do it I think well why should the community support community theater well Geez, I mean, we support the taper. We support the center theater group. What about these? The, the, I always think of these little theaters as pet, you know, petri dishes. Is that how you say it? This is where new, the truly new work is born, and and it's and it's not so much about making money and you know and having wild, you know claim and a fame it, it's about i don't know original ideas original work and, and and you know things do blossom and grow much bigger than this but um i i think that's why it's important to keep this this theater is still going to support the Odyssey Theater, along with every other, you know, little theater in this town. Um, they need all the loving they can get and all the support. So, I, you know, I'm a big uh, supporter of uh, what was formerly known as Equity Waiver, but now, you know, small theater in this town.